We're at the airport, Terminal 2, waiting for our gate to open and as you can see we're going to be flying with Turkish Airlines today. Really excited, I'm always excited when we go to Istanbul, I just love that city so much. So our gate is A17 and guess what guys, we don't even have to walk, it's literally just there in front of us, A17. We just walked a minute from where we were and here it is. Here's our plane. these two up to we're growing some emergency cash for the taxi since we don't have any only have about two or three liras and that's not enough that's not going to take us to Sultan Ahmed so we're going to have to withdraw some money for now to get us going and then we'll do some better exchange rates once we get there my Rahul's withdrawn 1000 lira where's the money Wow. So we have to walk right to the end of this long corridor to exit the terminal. And I don't know, I think it's like half an hour from one end to the other end. It could be more because last time we, we did it and it was a long walk. So here is a room tour of our first room. The reason I say first room is because we're going to change rooms later today. Our room is not ready because we've come really early in the morning. It's just um, 5.30, so our room's not ready. We've got this twin room. Um, and then we have the bathroom here, which I really like. It's very, very clean. Uh, there's a big shower. Some goodies there for me. Lovely sink. Then we have the toilet here and some towels. I really like the shower. Let's get a close up of these goodies. Nice. Oh, this is um, Innova Hotel, by the way. We haven't stayed in this one before. We normally stay at the Golden Royal, but um, I came across this and I thought, let's try it out, and it looked really nice, and it's just around the corner from Golden Royal. I just opened one of the wardrobes, and this is what's inside. We have a safe. Um, I think this is for, um, this is another luggage holder or something. Some slippers, laundry bag, What's that? A sewing kit, maybe a shoe polish. And then let's see what's in the other one. Okay, so these are just shelves. Really narrow shelves. Well, what can you put in there? Can't put clothes in there. Wow, I've never seen these kind of shelves before. It's a good thing we're changing rooms this afternoon. So here is what Amira got inside her Diamond Kids activity box. Loads of goodies inside here. She really likes it. I like it too. I still can't get my head around this wardrobe. Now what is this? I think they made some sort of mistake. I don't know. They just put it for show sure. because you can't put any clothes in here. You can't even put books in here. Maybe, I don't know, just display your toiletries. Maybe I could do that if we were staying here for longer. Because we're leaving in a bit. I'm going to leave this room and go to our uh, main room, the one we booked. Had a shower, made use of the room. Had a nice shower. Shower's lovely, by the way. And now doing some skincare before we head out. We've just come to our new room, 406, on the fourth floor. Here is the bathroom, again with a lovely big shower. And then 
here is the room area we have a king size bed and a sofa bed I told them to just uh, make it back into a sofa again because this bed is large enough for us and then I really like the view we have a French balcony with a view out to the sea so they dismantled the sofa bed and now it's a sofa again and it's really comfortable and I'm just in love with the view of the Marmara Sea. I did request to them um, to give us a room on the high floor with a view of the sea and yes I'm very impressed. So thank you so much Innova and look at all this space that we have now. We can have a picnic here. And I love the bed, lovely king size bed. And I did have a few hours sleep in the other room. Um, so we feel all refreshed and energized now. I had a lovely shower. We have the all essential tea and coffee making area here. Gonna have some of that in the evening. And our pink luggage, which has done itself very proud. It's lasted um, the trip to Marmaris when I thought it would burst open because it was so overpacked. And um, it also went to Italy with us and now it's back in its homeland, home city, Istanbul. This is where we got it from. And this time this was 25 kg as well, but they allowed us because our um, kilo allowance was 23. The lady was really nice and she just allowed me to have the extra two kilos free of charge. And that's our hand luggage. And then we have, oh, we have the Asda bag again. Yay. And then Amira's um, little cute trolley. I don't know why we have the Asda bag again, but we didn't carry it this time. This uh, has got all my toiletries, so this was in my luggage. Um, and then, yeah, let's check out the cupboard, the wardrobe. See, the shelves in this one is normal. This is how it should be. And the other one, oh, that was, I don't know what that was. I think it was just, you know, just for show. But this is how it should be. So I can fit all my things from the luggage, put it in there. It's easier to find and see what you've got. And then the bathroom. Similar to the other one. Although the shower in this one is a bit... It's a bit smaller, just a bit smaller in width. The other one was bigger, but it's okay, it's still big. And then the toiletries and our coconut oil. We have to take that everywhere. I really love this one. Sink, and we have a little tissue box, some towels, a hairdryer, and then the toilet and some towels. Yeah, so the bathroom here is a little bit smaller than the one in the last room, but it's fine. It's still a very decent size. And now we're going to head out and get some food in our tummies because we're so hungry. <laughs> we've had our lunch and now we've come to Sultan Ahmed Square. It's so busy. I guess it's because it's half term and no restrictions, so yeah, it's packed. It's a really nice thing in Istanbul like this again. And lots of tourists. And the weather's lovely today, it's 20 degrees. It's lovely, it's absolutely perfect for us. Come to check out some gifts. I like those cushion covers. They're 150. We've come across a gorgeous kitty. I've given it a little stroke. She's so beautiful. Look how packed it is in the square. Rahul was saying maybe it's Atatürk's birthday. That's why they've got all the flags out. <laughs> 
Oh, look at the sky. Look how gorgeous it is, mashallah. Look at that blue. Just spotted this little doggy having a nap, an afternoon siesta. Look at the way it's lying down. So chilled. Absolutely loving the blue skies. Look how blue it is. Mashallah, so beautiful. And the weather is so perfect as well. We've just come to one of the supermarkets. This is the A101 store and everything is really cheap. Yeah, cheap and cheerful. So we're just going to pick up some bits. We picked up some drinks from the supermarket to keep in our minibar so that they're chilled for later. Got some milk for Amira as well. We went to um, a sunglass shop, like a proper one um, store to get Amira's glasses fixed. And they were so kind, they just fixed it free of charge. They didn't even take any money. We offered it, but they didn't take it. You can see the sunset from our balcony. I've just done some ironing for the next couple of days. So here are my outfits and my hijabs. I've got, what, four here. And I've got some more in my luggage, um, which I'll do tomorrow because there aren't enough hangers. I can ask for more, but my back is gone now to ironing these. Um, and it's Maghrib time now as well. So I'm gonna pray. The call to prayer here sounds so beautiful. Mashallah, so beautiful. Good morning from Istanbul. It's 8.30 in the morning already with my Adidas trainers on. We're going down to breakfast. Rush to get ready. Don't want to miss breakfast. Me and Amira have come to the supermarket to buy some bits. So we've just come back and here is a little haul of what we got. Um, we've got some Harry Bowls. There were four packets, so we picked up all four. Amira's got the other one in her hand. So we've got some Milka chocolate bars. And we've got a couple of toothbrush, toothbrushes for Amira. I love these ones. And they're really cheap as well. And they come with their little cover as well. And then we've got some biscuits for Amira. We've got some alcohol-free wipes. And I've got a little juice. I've got another one I put in the fridge. Um, and then some straws as well. Just come to the Grand Bazaar. I'm um, gonna go and surprise Brother Masood and Halim. Uh, we told them, we called them yesterday, we said we're coming next week, so they have no idea we are here. I'm gonna surprise them now. We're having Burger King for lunch. We're gonna have as much Burger King as possible while we're here. I love Burger King. So I'm having a Whopper, Rahul's having a Chicken Royale and Amira's having some mozzarella sticks. We have the beautiful sunset again from our balcony. I'm not opening the door because we have the aircon on and if we open the door it's going to lock the aircon. I'm going to have to call reception to unlock mm. it for us. And we just come back from outside. We went to one of the shops um, where we took the guy some chocolates which we got from London because remember from last time that he said he likes chocolate yeah. so we thought we'd get him some as a gift and what's so touching is that he gave us stuff in a bag for free like um, yeah, I was planning on buying this nude and um, some hijabs um, and then I just chose one from there and um, he gave Rahul a hat and he just put them in the bag and it's like and I'm obviously ex waiting for him to tell me how much to pay and it's like it's free and I'm like what do you mean it's like it's a gift just make prayers for him so sweet like I felt really bad accepting it but he was just not taking it it's like it's a gift and it's just so touching like I, you know it's, I, that's why I love coming to Turkey because people here are so generous and so kind-hearted like really big-hearted I love Turkey so much I mean not because of the free gifts but it's just the thought that counts like the chocolates I mean they they weren't even much it's just chocolates a box of chocolates we got for him and like he gave us all this stuff for free genuinely I'm gonna make sincere dua for him like really nice person and Turkey in general, like all the Turkish people are lovely here. Mm. And so is the food. The food is absolutely delicious. Mm. 
We're catching the tram to Imaninu now. Gonna look for some toy shops. Istanbul is packed out. So many people. We've come to Imaninu now. Gonna walk up towards the Spice Bazaar and check out the toy shops because Samira wants to buy something. So we'll see what there is for her. And the weather again is absolutely beautiful. And then we have the sea just over there. Oh, look at all these pigeons. We're gonna feed the pigeons now. We're gonna buy some food for, for them from that little stall over there. It's only three lira for a cup and we're gonna feed some here. I love pigeons. I know a lot of people hate pigeons, but I love them. I think they're really cute and they're really intelligent animals, by the way. And of course it's rewarding, no doubt. Amira's got a cup. Yay! <laughs> the Galata Tower just across there. We've come across this uh, seed stall, buying some. I got um, a packet of the green pepper seeds and Amira's chosen strawberry seeds. Just checking out what else we can get. Found a toy shop. Thank goodness for that, eh? Making our ways back now to Sultan Ahmed. We're gonna go and have some lunch. We had something here, but it didn't satisfy our hunger. So we're gonna go back to where our hotel is and have something there. I'm gonna get the tram again now. towards the Ayah Sophia for prayer. Mashallah, so beautiful. Ayah Sophia. This is the square after Maghrib time. We used to come and relax here in the evenings when we used to come to Istanbul before, like um, back in 2011, 12, 13. We used to come every year around September and come and chill just over there and they used to have all these stalls where people come out in the evening after Maghrib really really nice um, but they've changed all of that now they've got a lot of security so um, and they don't allow those stalls because they're sort of illegal they don't have license there's high security everywhere now this is the famous cafe masale 
who used to come here all the time before when we used to visit Istanbul. Especially in the evening, it's really nice. They have um, uh, entertainment like music, live music. And then we have Arasta Bazaar just down there. We're in Cafe Masala now. We're gonna have a bit of a snack and then we're gonna watch the show. They have these little makeshift houses for the cats. So cute. This is Fateh Mosque. Again, really beautiful. All the mosques are really beautiful. I love the um, structure of them. The minaret and look at the sky. Wow. Love that blue. So the market is just on the other side of the mosque. I believe that would be the entrance to the market. So we'll check this out. Packed, but this is to be expected. I'm confused which way to go. And they have fruits. Yeah. You know, fruits, vegetables, olives. No, it's actually olives, different types of olives here. Wow, look at the variety. So many. I've never seen so many different kind of olives. 
I think that's the prices for per kilo. Some grapes. These grapes are nice. We got some from the supermarket and they're really nice, really sweet. Some dragon fruit. There's a hijab stall here. So many scarves and hijabs. Just found a toy store. I'm happy, and so is Amira. So let's see if we can find her something nice. It's a jean store here. It's a brush and hair accessory store. Rahul's buying one of these brushes. I bought some socks for myself. This is inside Fatih Mosque. It's beautiful. Inshallah. Look at all that detail. Wow. come across a little children's uh, play area so Amir is gonna get on the slides we're walking it to Aksarai because uh, no tram goes from uh, where we are where we were to um, Sultan Ahmed so we're gonna take we're gonna walk to Aksarai and then take the tram from there we're gonna get on the swing now Here is another beautiful mosque. This one's not as big, but it's still very beautiful. We are in Aksa right now. We just the tram station is just under the bridge on the left. This is our lunch, um, just outside Bayazet tram station. We were on our way to the bazaar, and then we spotted this place. We thought we might as well eat something because we haven't had lunch. That looks delicious. So um, Rahul got lamb on a plate, and I got lamb in a roll, and we got garlic sauce and that's a uh, chili sauce that is so delicious this reminds me of you know satni we have so nice this is the place it's called Pasha Donna really busy they do fresh juices as well by the way be careful when you order the sauces because they're not free they're 30 lira each so this was our bill been charged 60 for the sauces which was a surprise because they're usually free in all the other places so a thing to note we're back in Arasla Bazaar I'm gonna go to Cafe Masala again I saw this ring down Arasla Bazaar in a gold shop it's 22 karat gold and I fell in love with it yesterday so I'm gonna go and check it out again today me and Emira just had breakfast Rahul's still in bed because he's too tired and too lazy to get up <laughs> but we had a nice breakfast and now we're going back to the room another gorgeous day in Istanbul we had breakfast and just got ready we're gonna head out to um, Jamlija mosque 
which is on the other side, so we have to take um, the metro. We can take the metro from Sirkechi to Uskadar and then get the uh, get a taxi from there. <laughs> The station, so we just got off that station. Now we're gonna get the metro to the other side to Iskadar. Ready to jump. Ooh. So many people. A walk to the trains. Another escalator down to the trains. This is the uh, Marmara Line map, all the stops. So, as you can see, Gebsa is the last stop, and we're going to stop off at Uskadar. And we were looking at houses in that, um, I don't know how to pronounce it, I will try. It's Gujukjik uh, Meje or something, I have no idea, but um, we're looking at houses there. And it's really good, it's only a few stops away from Sirkech, and then we can get to Istanbul really, I mean, Sultan Ahmed really easily. We're off the train now, we're going to exit the station and then um, get a taxi to the mosque. Taking the escalators out now to exit the station. The ride wasn't very long at all, it would just cross the sea. So, under the sea, we came under the sea to this side, and that's it. Very quick. Wow, look at this dog. Oh, look at that Healthy, one. mashallah. They will look after here. Well, there's another one there. So that's the outside of the station. And now we're going to hail down a taxi to take us to the mosque. The taxi's just dropped us off outside the mosque and here it is. It is absolutely huge. Mashallah, it's so beautiful. I'm so excited to go inside and check it out. And we're just in time to do the her prayer as well so we'll get to do the her prayer here which is amazing so yeah let's go inside and check it out and check out the grounds as well and by the way we're in asia now so like in less than five minutes um on the metro we've come to asia from europe in less than five minutes how amazing is that We are on the top floor now, which is considered the ground floor because we were in level uh, minus three. And this is the top from the top of the mosque. I think they're working on um, building a train station here so you can come directly to the mosque. It's the view from the top. Sunny as well. It's now time for the her prayer.
So this is the inside of the mosque. Prayers have finished. It's so beautiful, mashallah. Really, really nice. The detailing is absolutely stunning. So beautiful. main entrance there it's honestly really beautiful mashallah we have the lovely blue skies again today We just bought a cement with some Nutella. Okay, so the taxi has just dropped us off to um, Uskadar station. Um, we're actually going to take the ferry now. We're not going to take the train. We're not going to take the metro. We're going to take the ferry to Imanunu. Might as well. And it's only 8 lira per person. So yeah, why not? To go back, to go to Imanunu, you have to take um, this entrance here. There's the ferry, 8 lira per person from Asia to Europe. Amazing. I think we're going to sit outside, enjoy the view. came by Metro, we might as well go by ferry and enjoy the view of the Bosporus. So we're currently in Asia and we're going to be heading to Europe and only 8 lira per person. Amira was free. So 16. Me and Rahul. Lovely experience. Been on the ferry before. Very quick and easy. Came to exchange some pounds. It's a good rate here actually, it's 2150. Twin yeah, 21150. So I'm just exchanging some extra money to keep for our next trip. We just had our dinner and we always see these three dogs sleeping in the same place every evening. I think this is their room, their bedroom, the bed where they sleep. The same three, so cute. This is the restaurant where we normally eat. 
but this was so full today, all four floors, so we went to Meblana. We are leaving now. It's four is what three thirty AM and our taxi is gonna come at four. And we're really tired, haven't had any sleep. We're over our luggage allowance again. So let's see what they do. And they couldn't allocate us together on the plane, so I'm gonna see if they can sort that out at the airport. But yeah, gonna miss Istanbul as always. Can't wait to come back again. We're just waiting for our transfer to arrive. There is a car outside, but um, there's no one in there unless the guy's gone, I don't know, somewhere out. They're gonna meet us at four. But it would have been better for us to get to the airport as soon as possible to sort out the seat arrangement. I see my favorite shop. I'm gonna go in, see if there's anything that I can buy. We're doing some bathroom stops now and we're gonna get some Burger King for Amira. Went into Louis Vuitton, um, they didn't have what I wanted um, and they didn't have a sample. Well, they didn't have any samples, but they got a new perfume out and I wanted the sample of it. They didn't have any, but the guy let us spray as much as we wanted. He sprayed Amira's jacket, like, I don't know how many sprays he put on her jacket. And I put some on my hijab and my wrist, like proper like smell of Louis Vuitton perfumes. It was really nice. And uh, yeah, they didn't have what I wanted, you know, but I did see a bag. I really liked um, but it worked out more expensive than the UK so I'm gonna go and order that inshallah when we get back it's a packed flight today triple seven aircraft it's all packed not an empty seat Oh, I see. Last turn. Okay. 